If you're interested in making better use of the sun's energy, it sure would be nice to live in a house with a roof oriented in the right direction. But unfortunately, this is not always an option. Bob from Baltimore lives in a building with a flat top roof, but he still found a way to make use of the available sunlight. He did this by making and installing his own flat plate serpentine collectors. Here are a few more examples of homemade serpentine flat plate collectors. All these collectors have one thing in common. They have 60 foot long copper serpentine flow tubes pressed into homemade aluminum absorber plates. So, uh, what's so great about serpentine collectors anyhow? I heard that commercial collectors use parallel flow tubes. This is true, but parallel flow collectors require numerous solder connections. They use materials and methods beyond the skills and budget of most homeowners. Bonding copper flow tubes to copper absorber plates is at best difficult without the right equipment. Large manifolds at the top and bottom are used to connect small flow tubes in parallel. For this reason, parallel flow tube systems may be used for either open loop or closed loop systems. Commercial collectors do an excellent job of converting light into heat, but they can also be a difficult and expensive project for most do-it-yourselfers. Although serpentine collectors are mostly limited to closed-loop applications, they are better suited for do-it-yourself projects since the construction materials are commonly available and there are less solder connections to worry about. A serpentine flexible PEX flow tube may be used to gather heat from aluminum absorber plates, but the rigidity of a copper flow tube has the advantage of being held in place with side and center supports. PEX flow tube and copper flow tube collectors are assembled differently, with their own set of advantages and disadvantages. My flat plate serpentine collector design involves pressing and holding copper inside the bends of an aluminum flashing material. Two of my serpentine collectors require two 60 foot coils of 3 8 inch copper and one roll of 20 inch by 50 foot aluminum flashing. For serpentine solar collector construction details see Homemade flow tube construction and homemade absorber plate construction. Thank you for your interest in renewable energy technology.